Help me grab my bags. Right here. Here. They're all in here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> How's it make you feel? How's that make you feel good, huh? <laughs> you know how hard this was? Oh yeah. No, nobody knows except for us right here. Oh this god. is it.
Did you know he was coming home? Hi, I'm Specialist Matthew Peters from Owensville, Missouri. I just came back with, uh, from a year-long deployment in Kuwait and Iraq, and I'm here at Washington West today to surprise my son Blake. Uh, we haven't seen each other since February, so I'm super excited. I know he's going to be too. I don't care what he said last night. Yeah. Christy sent me a text message. He think he's he's like it's still eleven days away. Eleven days. Eleven days, 11 days yeah. before my time. He's like, what day is it? Today? I was talking to him on the phone. I said, hey, they finally told us like the twenty fifth. Yeah. I said, but I don't think I'm going to talk to you this weekend. You got so much going on, so. <laughs> So Blake, tell me, how does it feel to have your dad home? Very good. <laughs> Were you surprised? Mm -hmm. Shocked? Mm -hmm. You might want to look in the closet, though. I got you. <laughs> Happy birthday. So go change your clothes, you get to come home. Right now? Yes, right now. Hi, Dad. How you doing? I'm doing good. You? Yeah. Miss you. I miss you, too. <laughs> Yeah. I was in gym, so don't worry about it. Yeah, we went and got Chris in too. <laughs> wow. You happy? Uh-huh. Home for 15 days. Did I get you? Yeah. <laughs>
Good morning, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the promotion ceremony of Captain Michael Ray Morris. A ceremony reaching far beyond the promotion of now Major Michael Morris. He chose to have his ceremony in his hometown of 96. In the Put their life on the line. Inside the First Baptist Church. Major Morris says they shaped him into not only the man he is today, but the leader he is becoming. A lot of men sitting in the audience today uh, taught me um, what it meant to be a true leader, um, not just a leader with institutional knowledge, a leader that knows how to lead folks, and uh, that's what I attribute it back to my parents and, and the leaders that served uh, in front of me. One of those leaders is this beautiful woman, Major Morris's nanny, Miss Shirley Leopard. Well, she meant a lot in my life to me. This ceremony is typically held in Columbia, but Major Morris says after learning it was up to him to decide the details, he soon realized that this day wouldn't be for him. I was coming to visit Nanny uh, the next day, driving through Newberry, and I said, you know what, this will be Nanny's day. And little did Miss Leopard know, she would have the honor to pin her grandson. My grandmother is um, terminally ill with cancer, and uh, it's an honor to have her do it. I don't know much, how much longer she's going to be around. That might be uncertain, but one thing is not. This soldier has made his nanny the proudest woman in the state of South Carolina today. I'll tell you that I love you, and I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for you to be able to pin my rank on me. As Nanny wiped those tears of joy, she couldn't let us go without letting us know this. You know, when he was growing up, he was a little stinker. And I had to whip him several times. But I am proud of him today.